at least we know he has been. Yeah, right. Well, I hope he's better in a stall than Dallas. Yeah. He seems like a pretty laid-back guy, though. I mean, he doesn't... You know, like, Dallas was generally pretty spooky sometimes. You mm-hmm. know, he looked and he stopped and he... You know, mm-hmm. and usually that is associated with how they're going to react to certain situations. And mm-hmm. This guy doesn't seem as jumpy, you know. All right, Hannah, go ahead and let him trot. Just see what you think. You can keep a shorter rein, but just keep your hands more forward and don't mess with him a whole lot when you're warming him up. If he gets quick, like, don't be afraid to do any of that. Just don't, like, crank on his face is what I'm saying. So relax your lower leg, not a whole lot of lower leg. That's okay, just trot. You're just kind of gripping with your lower leg, Hannah. Tighten your thigh and ask him to slow down. That's better. Good. And go right into some circles, you know. Don't let him just go hack around the ring. Make him work. Like practice going across the diagonal, changing direction, downward transition to walk, right back to trot, stuff like that. And you'll see the head thing will come in in a minute here. He's not doing it really bad right now, but he does a little twisty. (laughs) And right back to trot. Just watch your leg. It looks like you're adding just a little too le- too much going into the transition. More so just think trot. But even when you do that, he comes right back to you. You know, it's not like he's gone. And I think that's more so just you getting used to how much leg you need. And him getting used to her, too. Right. You know. Yeah. Combination. Do you smell apple pie? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And does a lot of baking. I bet she's baking. Oh, wow. I'm going to put it out on the window, so I'm going to have to go steal it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a little closer to the manure pile. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, now I smell the manure file. It must have been the wind was shifting. I like the manure pile smell. That's a much slower trot. Aren't you gorgeous? Yes, Bob. (laughs) Bob the Builder. Yeah. He will probably tire quite quickly because he's had a long day today. But, you know, when you feel comfortable, Hannah, just let him step up into left leg canter and just just feel him out tonight. Don't spend a whole lot of time working on anything. Just get a feel for him. His canter is the same way. He might take, like, two or three quick steps and then come right back to you, okay? And he just he just kind of goes, you know, like he he's not very complicated. He just kind of does his thing, <laughs> you know. He is what he is, you know. What you see is what you get, and I always like that, you know. Mm-hmm. I'll kind of sacrifice a little bit of fanciness, which he is. I mean, he is a really pretty. I mean, he's a pretty. Yeah. Man. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not saying he's a bad mover, but 
you know, and he'll he'll always place in the hat. Oh, that's good. You know, I mean, he, he's a decent enough mover to at least place if it's not a huge, huge class, you know. Um, he's got a steady headset and decent movement. And his canner's pretty strong, too, you know, like he's got a good a good movement at the canner, which is hard for some horses to have. Okay. Go ahead and try to canner him. He's not going to hurt you. Atta girl. <laughs> That's good. That's what I like to hear. He is. I mean, he's just... It takes a lot for me to like a horse. And that's yeah, a good yeah thing. right. You know, like <laughs> yeah. I do not just like any old horse. That's right. And if I yeah. like them, they're usually decent animals. Yeah. And the price is right, you know? I mean, if this horse was showing regularly yeah. and has been there and won everything, he wouldn't be in our price range. But mm -hmm. I think we've kind of caught him at the right spot in his life. See the little head thing? Yeah. yeah. It's feelable, right? Like, we can live with that kind of thing. And that goes away, Hannah. It doesn't stay there. He just, you know, Lori and I were talking that we think somebody just hung on him, you know? Do a lead change with him. See how easy his changes are. And you can do it anywhere. Like, just change direction. And don't even ask. Don't move him up, okay? Just go across the diagonal. Set and lean to the outside a little bit. But take your lower leg off. See, so he's already setting himself up. See mm -hmm. how easy is that? That's nice. Automatic, right? Yeah. Try your other one and make sure that he's got both leads. Move that head, huh? <laughs> All right, Hannah, now ask him to trot and see how his brakes are. Right there. Hmm. Smooth, huh? Good. Now ask him to, to walk and see how his brakes are again from trot to walk. Good. What do you think? I really like it. Good. Do you want to jump him something real small? Sure. Just to see how he does. You won't, I know we're all right.